hello guys kindly check this application out we can open and close the sidebar okay you see guys when after you finish the project you can just make the color the same so you wouldn't see the difference okay so that is that guys if you want to type along with me kindly install npm install react icons so that is that guys with all said and done let's begin thank you very much let's begin by creating two folders in our src folder call the first one assets then call the second one components now let's take the first one assets now on this project we have no spinners or images so we leave it blank move to the next one components components let's create a file and call it main page main page dot js inside the same folder let's create another file and call it navbar js and inside the same folder let's create another file and call it sidebar dot js now let's take the first one the main page now the main page which are afce instead of ordinary day why don't you use reactor fragment so inside that we have a section that deal with the p tag to say hello let's link this main page to the app.js so we call main page get okay, nice let's import main page good we have main, main page imported now let's check our screen if we get hello on the screen you can see guys we got hello on the screen means we're ready to go so let's put everything in shape since it's mobile first okay good now what do we do next now first is the nav bar okay let's prepare the nav bar so the nav bar let's go back to the main page you can just copy the same uh what do you call it the same fragment then go to nav bar then inside the nav bar we say what rafce so instead of ordinary day we put a fragment there so let's take the this hello off which is the main page then we link the nav bar over here so let's call nav bar good so let's create a div so inside this div let's call the nav bar now let's import nav bar okay. nav bar is imported you can see we got hello on the screen again which is hello from the nav bar okay so what do we do with the nav bar nav bar let's take the hello off and give it some class name so right here we can say good class name bg yellow 700 and height 20. so you can see guys we got our nav bar ready now after the nav bar what next we need the what the sidebar okay so we go to the sidebar then create another uh what do you call it another div for it so we go to the sidebar we got a sidebar here so we say rafce sort of ordinary div let's use what we have the fragment so that is that let's take these glasses off good and say you can just put hello here g okay good okay. now let's link the sidebar to the main page okay so the sidebar to the main so after the nav bar now we need what the sidebar so we go down let me reposition everything uh okay. you can see it's properly so that is that so now the next one is what the sidebar so likewise we click create a div put our sidebar inside sidebar is ready okay let's import sidebar that's right get our sidebar is ready so now what do we do with the sidebar so now bar you can close you up the js we can close you now let's go to side sidebar so sidebar this is where all the we're going to do everything so sidebar what do we need okay. so let's take this uh, g off then inside this div let's create two divs now inside this 2d what do we do let's give them uh, uh, class names of colors okay, let's give this red 500 and let's give the second one 
going 500 so what to do next good so now let's give the appearance div width and height okay so inside that we can say give it width one feet and height what screen then inside that we can now say give me grid then grid calls grid calls what three you can see guys grid calls three you have to one two there's, there's another extra one here but so we give uh, the second green we give it call span uh two so that i can take this the last one so we say call span two so you can see it will take the the next one since it's three you can see yeah so this is what we have good now don't worry about the mobile ver version because we're going to hide it when it's mobile at mobile screen just take another uh, class name here we say class name then uh, we say hidden good so hidden then we say at uh, medium screen then we say what block the l o c k block so you can see it's hidden but when i go to uh, medium screen uh, medium screen i see it so that is what is going to happen but for the purpose of we're going to make it what um, you just take it off so that we can see see what we are doing no need to be, be toggling uh, in and out of screen the first one the first one which is the red side what are we going to do there so over here let's create a div and call our icon and call our icon fa bars um, and the second one uh, fa times so we need to import both fa bars and fa times from where we go to import yeah so that is that we've imported the fa bars and fa times so let's check it out you can see guys we got it now let's give them some class names so over here we say height 20 bg gray text to excel and text white so you can see it guys we go in there now what we need to do next is to do that i prefer to use a, a, a sns class a custom css class i call sn so we go to the css class then we say dot center so inside that we have display flex justify center and align item center so we call this center class inside the uh, the parent div over here so we can say center good so let's check that out you can see now is centered so next is to do it display one at a time okay so to do that let's go to use state and create a state so let's import use state here yeah. so we call use state so now let's take our state here yeah. so we say const open sidebar Comma set open sidebar equals what you state and initial is what let's make it false. So now let's create an on click handler okay to toggle between the state. We say const handle open sidebar equals what set open sidebar into bracket not open sidebar okay. So this is our function that we're going to use to toggle between the state. And now let's create uh, an on click for the React icons. Okay, good. So we give it on click handle open sidebar, and here to the same thing handle on click handle open sidebar. So that is that. So next thing to do is what so display them one at a time. Okay, so let's create our GSS here. Okay. Then inside that we say. So we say if open sidebar equals false, what do you do? Then give us the what? The uh, bars, the FA bar. So we cut this one and put it there. 
put it here again otherwise bring your column and you put the second one there you cut the fa times and put it there you can see it guys let's check it out you can see it guys one has been displayed when i click you can see it guys so that is that guys so now what we're going to do next is to link this um uh, the on click to the to what opens so to do that yeah. now this is the second sidebar so what we're going to do is we're going to make this is a static uh, class name let's make it dynamic class name that we can add the condition to it so we make it dynamic let's take the let's bring in the the bracket yeah now we introduce the dynamic code the dynamic code is down the escape button you can see guys good so inside that we have a dollar sign then we take the bracket again then we bring our condition what is our condition our condition is what oh sorry what is our condition our condition is what let's make it yeah, come down so we say if open side by equals true what do you do then display block class name block so we need to quote it Good block otherwise give us the class name what hidden so you can see guys when we run it you can see guys it brings it out so that is yeah let's make it bigger you can see guys so cool so that is that guys Good. so now finally let's make our app responsive the this thing we were talking about a smaller screen so let's go put it back so we go back to the appearing div then we say at hidden you only you hide it then at uh, medium screen then you, you block for it short yeah, so that is that so smaller screen we don't say just medium screen and you can see it now so that is that guys our app is responsive thank you so much for sticking through please don't forget to do good catch you in the next one we say peace